Yeah, well, you don't play for DePaul if you can't shoot, so let's get that clear right now. But I think, uh, you know, Coach, is, he's evolving, trying to figure out his team. And same thing uh, with Coach Meyer. She knows what type of player she has, and she's just trying to help them find their roles. And taking a look at this group out of Lincoln Park coming in at 5-4 and four on the season. Just picked up a win against Green Bay, a very good Green Bay team in their last matchup. You can see DePaul's going to play open. They're going to make you play defense for 30 seconds, try to find you falling asleep. In that corner, shot no good. Coming down with the rebound is Jada Patrick. Patrick, who grad transfer after finishing her career at Columbia, played a couple of years in the ACC as well over at Duke. Dave Wilson with the ball in her hand over to Lachey Dwyer. And Dwyer taking it to the hoop. And off the mark and coming down with the rebound is Jory Allen. And I think that's where you're going to see DePaul have issues. Is can they stay in front of the Miami guards? And a push there inside the paint. Kyla Oldekar, defensive-minded base here for Katie Meyer. Always trying to put the pressure on offenses. We'll see the success, if any, of how much DePaul will have tonight. Well, just like I said, if you can't shoot, you can't play for DePaul. If you don't defend, you are not playing for Miami. Jory Allen with the mid-range jumper and gets the first two points of the board, or on the board, rather. When we talked off camera, I was wondering if if uh, Miami could make DePaul play in the mid-range area so that they wouldn't trade threes for twos. Four freshmen as well. Pops in and out for Mackerling. And stolen away by Jasmine Roberts. Roberts here on the break kicks it over. The three is drained by Jason Patrick. Interesting in the Ivy League, you're going to see a lot of players now who are transferring to these Power 5 schools. When you have success like a player in Jada Patrick, an all Ivy League selection, second team a year ago, and trying to find a way to gel in a new space in a new place here with the great head coach and Katie Meyer the offensive ball, the put back for Oldeker uh, again being able to stay in front of the Miami players and this is the third time that DePaul has so Spearman comes in for Oldeker a little bit more mo Roberts will cross over pulls up yes he pulls averaging points a game heaped up by Gilbert 0 for 7 from three-point range and they struggle when they don't hit shots because they can't open the floor for backdoor cuts Patrick already with five points add to about it passed up the three gets in a little bit closer to the extra pass to Peoples and Peoples had that one contested along the right side here's Dave Wilson bounce pass back over good ball movement open look and drain to fill different shoes, greater roles with the departure of, as you mentioned, Helen, seven different players from last year's Elite Eight team. And that a team that would be hitting the threes, but they're not. Nice back door. Great pass. Can they finish it off? And Jalea Williams, the life of the party, doing a shoot around as well. Louisville won four straight, taking on Kentucky, both are available on the from our Louisville jumping four spots in the latest AP poll this week. The remaining seconds of the opening quarter. That one's stolen away. That shot won't count if it were to go. The faithful five is what they like to call themselves. Yeah, just a great opportunity for them to get more uh, more, more minutes, uh, more opportunities to get playing time. And I think he's done a great job with the players that he's had and also the players that he's brought in. You know, he's a kind of coach that... Uh, kids want to come back home to Chicago, and he's, he's the first one that they call. Very attractive when you think about Caitlin Gilbert, who's out of you know, Indiana, not too far away, along with Kate Clark as well. So in the nearby area, he's been able to draw those players back to the Midwest, something that actually appealed to Anaya Peoples, who's a couple of hours outside of Chicago and Danville. Well, but he's done a great job. The, the players that transferred maybe didn't have big roles at the schools where they were, but they carved out big minutes and big roles here with the call. Great defensive sequence there again by Miami. 
with the call shot three of 18 from the floor in that opening quarter, but starting off strong here in the second quarter is Dane Wilson. Strong defensive stand at the last second, and Peoples can't get it to fall. Cheyenne Day Wilson thought about it. Over to Roberts. Baseline reverse, yes, man. Just doing a really good job of a little, a little bit English there. But right away, again, very hard for DePaul players to stay in front of the ball handlers for Miami, and they are really struggling with that. Kissing it high off the window. You think about a player who has stepped up and gotten their time to shine off the mark there. Can't finish off that three-point play. Quickly back the other way, DePaul. They maintain position, offensive rebound. I mean, the floater in the lane, third chance, still won't go. And Peoples trying to get in right position, right time, and it falls. And Peoples puts the 1,000-point scoring mark in her last game. Roberts this time trying to show off the range of games. She took it to the hoop the last time this time. And I just said that they... That's their identity. They're tough and gritty on both ends. So if you see on the defensive end, you'll see that nobody goes to that lane without getting touched somehow. And the same thing in terms of their aggression to the basket. You see here, they go hard off the bounce to the basket. Always dangerous in the backcourt. And these people's nice pass. The extra one made. And Hilton there just not talking and switching or staying with the player. So forcing rotations and DePaul able to get that score. There's Hilton and Hilton. Three point shooting team. And a really good defensive team. Lattimore altered that last shot, had an opportunity to get that rebound. That's the extra. It was uh, Destiny Harden's team last year, but I think that she's done a great job, not just with her physical skills on the court, but just in terms of her leadership ability. She is the head of this team. She's in charge, and you know, she has a lot of different skills. They, they were practicing. Okay, Wilson picks up her dribble, poked away by Allen. So good defense from the Blue Demons. Opportunities in the paint with Spearman. Virginia Tech hosting Vermont, Virginia hosting Northeastern as well. You think about just the success that Miami basketball has had coming off. An unbelievable year and a great move. The difference in the more open shot they got when they moved the ball around and spread the defense out. People's open look for three won't go. Spearman could come up with the rebound, and Allen is fouled. From yelling at practice yesterday and in two round today. You know, I've come with that. <laughs> we should ask Katie Meyer, basketball, and also found her way in to some of Doug Bruno's camps as well. Very familiar with these two as people's. You've been impatient. You've created offense for DePaul where they don't have to go against your half court defense. Peoples just two of 11 from the floor with five points. Williams over in the corner and well off the mark there. And Patrick versus Peoples. And the look there. Just about two minutes to go in the first half here from Watsko Center. So one four high set to force the def defense to decide who they're going to guard on the wing. Six rebounds game. And Allen already with four, but a good rebounding effort overall. Pesky defense from Williams. People's trying to get a little bit closer in. Gilbert from the free throw line. Got it. Hurricane shooting 44% from the floor, 43% from downtown. And then the final seconds of the first half. That one won't fall for Miami. 
And the score will remain as is. One of the things that Katie Meyer wants to see immediately is the ball go through the hoop the last just about four minutes of that first half. Miami didn't score a point. And Jada Patrick off the mark, rebound by Gilbert. You see Miami starting again with Old Acre in there. Didn't play her much that first half because there was so much movement offensively for DePaul. She also picked up a couple of quick fouls as well. And now here in the second half. That's a great cut. Also, you did not see any help side defense in the lane because they'll make you pay. Now half a dozen points make it seven for the team's leading score. She will have halves like that, but she always comes back stronger in the second half. So I expect that from her tonight. Dave Wilson, the pull-up jumper, won't fall. Roberts trying to wrestle for that rebound. There's Peoples kicking it out. Hacker lane. Force players to come and help, and they shoot well enough that you can't really help. So we talked in the first half about DePaul staying in front of the Miami players. Now talk about Miami having to stay in front of the DePaul players. Cutting the lead to six and then stretching it back out off the main from Old Acre. There's the advantage you have for Miami against the zone for DePaul, if you're patient. The take and the aggressiveness from Caitlin Gilbert and trading buckets back and forth are these two teams. Inside, once more, posting up. And thinking about it. The Euro step, slide, step, and it was true. The first bucket of the game, and Peoples again just runs off the rim. And three straight possessions where they're able to get point blank shots just off cuts and penetrating. Patrick was asking for it in the corner. Instead, swinging it around. So the ball is sticking for Miami, and then obviously that worked with Patrick. But when the ball's on offense, you see they make every defense work, having to be very active. The show and go, and Allen players holding it. And they're only getting one shot, an opportunity again. Somebody's got to crash the board in white on that end. Peoples, the ball fake, the drives. It's sort of either or. You're trying to find a combination. Mark Packer and Taylor Tenenbaum are on weekdays from our Charlotte studio and in this basement at 4 Eastern. They'll have everything that's happening around the conference. You can check it right here on the ACC network and around on the ESPN app. And right now, if you're just giving it an eye test as a traveling violation, a number of options to go to, but not able to knock down that shot on that possession. And now you're seeing DePaul get transition. On the inbound with 14 seconds to work with on the shot clock and the turnover into the hands of Macker Lane. Back come the Blue Demons. And not that DePaul wasn't confident against this team, but I think you've just held that confidence here with your, your your lack of defense. That should not happen there. And you can make something happen. Spearman in great position, but better defense from Allen. A couple of blue jerseys surround. Well, that was a gang defense right there. She had three people around it. Look how hard Peoples is going to the basket. The offensive board blocked from behind by, by Spearman. Macker Lane for three, won't go. Spearman, it looked like Spearman may have touched it last. Either way, Miami has it. Still searching for a bucket. You lose her and many other players. Who is that person? Who's going to develop that characteristic? Gilbert going baseline, challenge. Welcome addition to this team for Doug Bruno. And right now we've seen both Gilbert and Peoples making an impact. And 
very familiar with each other from their childhood as that one was a tough shot. Spire not happy all over the official thought she should have got a, a foul there. Peoples can finish four on five and it's stolen away by Kate Clark and back the other way. Katie Myers certainly wants to beat her buddy Coach Bruno. One two in this matchup at their respective institutions. For Katie Meyer, she's searching for that win against the call. They lost him last season. And you can park and the ball flying around everywhere, still in the hands of the Hurricanes. A little hezzy take by 18th Frank Louisville hosting Kentucky against South Carolina, but coming up short against the game counts the movement. Gilbert flips up, tough shot, back the other way. Good work. Can Miami net points here? Dave Wilson, step back. They want to create some transition so they don't have to play against that half court zone. Sometimes a, a bad shot or a hurried shot is just as good as a steal if you can get the rebound and turn it into offensive transition. Back to the matchup zone here for DePaul. Looking for that last shot, Dave Wilson. Can't get it to fall, offensive rebound. Another opportunity, yes! Kiss it! The bank it's may not be open. Helen Williams, Tiffany Green here with you. And when you think about the slow start that DePaul had there, Nea Peoples finally started to get going in that second half. Miami led by as many as 19 points in this ball game. However, we saw great second chance opportunities, offensive rebounds, helped DePaul kind of stay in this one. Yeah, and we saw them being more aggressive going to the basket. They're still only two for 18 from three point range, so they've decided to, to be more aggressive and get downhill. And that's been a big reason why they were successful there in that third quarter. Inside, great look from Oldeker to Ross. 44 to 4 in white. So they change here to, from a 1 2 2 to a 2 2 1, then just going you know, back to player to player defense, leaving them only 18 seconds here with the clock. Peoples finds Clark. You, you, you can't help if they are driving to the basket. You've got to keep your person in front of you. They push it inside again to Roberts once. A couple of paint points for Miss Jasmine Roberts. They can use her in a variety of different ways. It's 5'10", so she can work in the post. Coming off a spectacular sophomore second half of the season. Ms. Jasmine Roberts defensively. Kane's had You see the adjustments made by Katie Myers' crew being able to effectively work the ball through that 1-3-1 one, one of DePaul. Offensive rebound, and again. They missed it finally, an offensive rebound. Oldacre with five boards. Two boards. And then eight points. And an open look, wide open for Hilton. She was hot in that first half. Peoples with an open look, goes after her own shot, gets the rebound. Cedor, top of the key. Five point advantage for Miami. Perfect record on the line for the Kings. And you see the call going back to that spread offense there. Give them room to drive the basket. And tough. Miami has the basketball in the three-point lead. Just over six minutes to go. So they went player to player on the out-of-bounds, but then they go back to the matchup zone. And Oldacre is able to get behind. Oldacre, they have found her to be all the more effective here in this second half to help keep the lead at bay for Miami. 
keeping her dribble. And Jory Allen, the double pump boy. You cannot do that against DePaul. And overthrows Oldacre. And then Jory Allen with the steal and foul. First half, I didn't think they did that in terms of going after rebounds. And that's where they allowed DePaul to get back in the game. Oldacre, the 6-6 six, six game. And half, they'll break down all 11 bowl games from ACC teams. Discussion regarding... Uh, on both sides. Yeah, um, Florida State on the outside looking in. Some people will get behind those top four and leave an undefeated Power 5 team out of the playoffs. Good hustle there from Roberts. The step, the bucket, yes! For this Miami squad. One of four players also out of Canada. When she came in. Well, she's got the length and the athleticism. She can play. You see here, a little bit of pressure. You don't want the call just to get into their offense really easy. Still a two possession ball game. Gilbert attacking, won't go. Jory Allen, oh boy. And Wilson splitting through. Wide open look from the top. Roberts can't get it to fall. Gilbert coming up with it. Good possession there, just didn't finish the shot. You've got to get out on them in transition. Got it! They were able to penetrate, and the help comes, and they're wide open. In that case, in transition, you see Cedar, they're getting a wide open shot. Grabbing that one, here's Dave Wilson. Has the basketball. But Paul able to do a really good job of helping in this zone defense. And Lamont. She was a spark in that first half with nine points. Hadn't heard from her until then. Allen going right at the body of Oldacre. So now in the bonus, and Miami gets the opportunity to shoot free throws the rest of the way the final two minutes and 12 seconds in regulation a team that shoots 57 percent from the charity stripe throughout the season and missing both of them is old acre but coming in to snatch the rebound down with jada patrick best the second time there's the tough and there's the gritty that coach meyer's looking for The edge that Miami needed right there was delivered from Jada Patrick. Leading by a three. And then Miami gets the basketball back. Katie Meyer telling her point guard, slow it down, easy, and take your time. Want to try to isolate Oldacre there in the middle if you can spread the zone out. Same size of the floor, and then you have a drive. Dave Wilson passes it up, kicks it back out. Hilton over to Patrick. Yes! Patrick coming up with back-to-back -back big plays. First grabbing down the rebound, and then this time knocking it from downtown. I'm going to put this pressure on. They're not really trying to steal the ball. Just want to slow down, give them a little less shot clock to work with. Got to make sure and not let them get to downhill where they're able to kick the ball out for threes. And post Jory Allen trying to work on Jasmine Roberts, looking for something that's available. Who's open? Peoples is found. It's a substitution here, putting Old Acre back in to play offense. And if they haven't... Make it six of seven. Two possession ball game. It's falling off some, but here a chance to get a couple of big ones. The fall into the bonus. Oh, that was great defense there. Allen 
Hits both. Quickly to the basketball as they try to trap Dave Wilson. Getting into the hands of Roberts. Roberts almost had it poked away. And then the foul by Mackerling. Depends on time and score. In that case. And Allen tracks down. The second missed free throw. Back the other way. Triple. Down. Jasmine Roberts to inbound it. Looking. Gets it in to Cheyenne Day Wilson. And Mackerlane, Cedor. Day Wilson, who has been one of the more steady free throw shooters for this Miami team this season. Can make it a two possession game here. On a mate. And the miss. Five of them, five of us. Make sure we do not leave them open for a three. And Peoples loses the basketball, rushed and hurried. And Peoples whistled for her fifth personal foul. And that's going to do it for Anaya Peoples. 18-point effort, but here a costly turnover in the waning seconds of this one. I think he's just trying to create something there off the dribble like she's done the whole half. Roberts has that one roll around. Getting both 75 to 70. Miami looking to hold on. And they're going to be able to do so at home. Move it to 8-0 to start.